We know that the teenage brain is a work in progress and we also now know that it's pretty much a use it or lose it brain. That means that the nerve uh, pathways that are used a lot in the brain get strengthened and added to and those pathways that aren't used much or not at all pretty much shrivel up. This is called a pruning effect where overall there's a net loss of nerve cells in the brain but this pruning is designed to make the brain much more efficient in its functions. Um, and that really prepares the adolescent brain for its functioning in adult life, where much more complex uh, thought and complex behaviours are required. So it's getting much more efficient at the sort of adult executive functions of the brain, like making judgments, decision making, planned thinking, determining the consequences of certain actions and behaviours, which are obviously very important adult activities. The prefrontal cortex is really in charge of the executive function of the brain. So that means it's really heavily involved with judgments, planned thinking, choosing between right and wrong, the ability to suppress uh, urges that are socially inappropriate, and the prefrontal cortex doesn't fully mature until somewhere around about the early to mid 20s. Well, alcohol actually suppresses the, the function of the prefrontal cortex, so it's suppressing the ability to make good judgments. In fact, alcohol's pretty sneaky. It suppresses the judgment of that part of the brain that's telling you whether or not it's a good idea to keep on drinking and do various other um, activities. It means you're more likely to take risk, uh, be impulsive, and you're less likely to show self-control. Certainly now with modern technologies that allow us to do a lot of this brain research, that seems to show in some studies that the prefrontal cortex is smaller and less well developed in uh, alcohol users versus non-alcohol users. This really relates to the hippocampus part of the brain. So the hippocampus is that part of the brain that's heavily involved with learning and memory. And one of the big things we've learned about the hippocampus in recent times is the hippocampus, besides being responsible for memory and learning, is also one of the few parts of the brain that produces new brain cells. Um, there have now been studies which look at the effect of this uh, growth of new nerve cells in the hippocampus um, in adolescents who consume alcohol. And there are studies which indicate that uh, in these people, in adolescents, that these cells are peculiarly sensitive to the effects of alcohol. Now, this whole process of new nerve cells in the hippocampus is heavily involved with memory. And everybody knows about people who've had too much alcohol to drink and they can't remember what's happened. Well, at a cellular level, it's probably all related to the hippocampus and these cells. People have, looked at, have done studies looking at adolescent alcohol users and comparing them with adolescents who don't use alcohol and looking at their school performance, okay? And there's pretty consistent results in that um, the grades, school grades are worse, all right, for alcohol users. And it particularly affects verbal skills, so reading isn't as good. Um, mathematical skills aren't as good. Definitely, the longer you can delay it, and you can choose to delay it, um, the better for your brain and for your achieving your potential as a person. Because your brain pretty much is working better, your learning and memory is better. And there are so many problems with early alcohol that we see. Um, my strong advice is to delay the onset of alcohol consumption for as long as possible.